is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Let's talk about drawings and focus today. Focus and position. We've got view focus and we've got sheet focus. And we've got view position wherever we put the view. But we can lock that down if we want. Let's go back to focus. Most of the time, focus requires no input or anything else. It's, it's very automatic. But there are times when you may want to do something special. For instance, if I want to put a note in here someplace, but I do not want it attached to any view, I got to make sure that when I make my note, let me just do that, that none of my views are selected. As soon as I hover over that view, I get an icon there around my frame uh, with dark corners. Normally, you don't see that unless view focus is locked. I'm going to talk about that more here in just a second. But if I just drop this out here someplace and make a note. Now, I've got a note. This note is not attached to any view. If I move these views around, this note does not move with them. There are times when you may want this note to move with and be associated with a particular view. Now, if you take a, a dimension and you attach it to the, to the model, it's automatically associated with that view, but not so with annotations. If I wanted this note attached to this annotation, the easiest way to do this is just to select the note, control X, which is cut, and then select in the view and control V, which is paste. Now I can move this thing anywhere I want. And when I move my view, my note moves with it. And if I wanted to reverse that process, I could do the same thing. I could control X and cut that or edit cut and then select someplace away from this and put it in there. Now, sometimes you got a very busy drawing and you want to lock the view focus so because you want to add a whole bunch of little things and it's going to take a little while. If I right click inside the frame, lock view focus is right here. Lock view focus. Okay. Now, if I do that, I get dark corners around my frame. Like I mentioned a minute ago, that's the lock view focus icon. So I can see that. If I click away from that, it turns back to the orange color that it normally was, but it keeps it visible. It doesn't just disappear like normal. If I right click inside my frame now, I can unlock view focus. Now there's no corners and it disappears when I move away from it. I can also double click. That locks the sheet focus. Double click anywhere and it unlocks it. Same thing with sheet focus. Now if you notice here around the outside of my sheet of paper I've got a black line. It's not very thick. If I double click or I right click and pick lock sheet focus it makes that line extra dark. Right click unlock sheet focus now it's back to the standard thin line double click in the sheet away from any view now it's dark double click now it's not so i can lock my sheet focus i can lock my view focus so i can add a whole bunch of notes and things so things will move around anytime i want or lock my sheet focus and Anything I put in here, I don't care if it's right on top of something else, it will not attach to it if I lock my sheet focus. Now, how about lock view position? Very nice if you want to keep something in one particular spot. Let's say this isometric view up here of this particular configuration. I can right click in here and I can lock view position. I don't get any special icon except when I select it, it's there until I click away from it. This one, if I select in there, oh, it does the same thing, doesn't it? So you really don't get any special notice that it's locked, except it won't move. Can't move that. This one, no problem. Move it anywhere you want. Well, I can line this up with the one above it, and then I can lock this so it won't escape. Lock view position. So now neither one of these will move unless I right click here and unlock view position. Very simple little concepts. Sometimes you want to override 
the default. Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer.